Oh, hi there. It's the Don with the Don Tech. I wanted to come and talk to you today about upgrading to Windows 10 and whether or not you should. This segment I like to call the verdict. Now, the verdict is going to be my series where I go through any sort of topic of a product, software, um, any sort of device or anything like that that I have my hands on and that I've used and tell you whether or not it's worth it flat out. Give you the yes, the no, the maybes, which I'll try to avoid, and hopefully give you some helpful understanding in regards to the actual topic at hand. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn something. Now, since this is my first YouTube video, you may be wondering, well, what are your qualifications? Well, in regards to that, all I can do is tell you what I know, and hope that you like me, and hope that you like what I have to say. Alternatively, I've been in the IT repair field for over 10 years, and doing it much longer on a personal basis. Now, I have the luxury of having a ton of data given to me on a daily basis. Since I work in IT and repairs, I see a lot more things than the average Joe. So I like to take that information and just give clear-cut answers as to whether or not something is good or bad, and maybe why. Sometimes the answer is just, no, it's not good, and sometimes it's yes, and it's because I say so. Um, so that's where we're going to start with my qualifications and if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll answer them the best i can to help you out so today's topic has to do with the number one question i've been receiving for the past almost entire year and that is should you upgrade to windows 10 or should i get the free windows 10 upgrade so i'd like to take some time now to explain some risks and rewards and give you my final rundown and a verdict as to what my opinions are The biggest risk of getting this free Windows 10 upgrade is that the machine just stops working. You get a blue screen of death, you get a sad smiley, or you boot to a black screen. If you don't have the recovery options available to you, you've just lost it and you have to go and start from scratch, bringing your computer to an IT person like myself to get it fixed or figuring out the repairs on your own. So that's a pretty big risk. Uh, the second risk is going to be that your machine is running slow or just not responsive, you're going to lose internet access, you're going to lose programs, you're going to lose data files, all sorts of things. And if they don't happen then, they may happen at a later date. So that's a big risk that you don't know what's going to happen in the long run. So as I said with point number two, it has a chance to be slow. So I'd like to expand on why it's going to be slow versus if you did a fresh install. Now, the best analogy I like to use with this has to do with roofing in regards to doing a fresh install of Windows or upgrading Windows. And there's a difference. Same with roofing. So uh, with the Windows operating system, you can either do an upgrade, and that's where you're, you have your old Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, and then you layer Windows 10 on top of that. So not only are any issues just compounded, uh, but you have a chance to create more issues with the additional infrastructure of that operating system. So not only can that cause problems, but it can cause speed issues and corruption as well. Uh, and that's one of the things that I see a lot of are people doing the upgrades and it just runs really slow. They bring it in, wondering why, and that's usually why. Uh, retrospectively, in regards to the roof, you have two ways to do a roof repair. You can either tear down the entire roof, the shingles, and all the other components of a roof and then just kind of redo it from scratch or you can go ahead and um, add more shingles add more materials on top of the existing roof now you can already kind of feel which one sounds a little bit better but you can also feel which one seems like it would take more effort and more work and that would be the the fresh install or the fresh roof that's more work than the upgrade or layering the roof and the results are usually what you get. Um, the upgrade, it doesn't give you the best performance overall. So if you wanted to go to Windows 10, you would want to use a fresh install. And if you have an interest in learning how to do that, leave a comment below. I will gladly uh, dedicate time to make a video in regards to how to upgrade to Windows 10, pull your license key, and then do a fresh install and let you know all the materials that you need, all the software and everything that you need to do to make it as streamlined as possible so that way if you do go with Windows 10 you're at the best possible scenario. So now on to the rewards. The biggest reward is that it's free. 
I mean, you're getting the $100 plus software absolutely free just for your previous version of Windows. That's a great plus because not only is it going to be free and help you right then, it will help you in the long run because you don't have to worry about different compatibility issues or any sort of software, uh, what is it, forced obsolescence that program manufacturers like to, like to promote. So by having the latest and greatest operating system, you will go ahead and make sure that anything in the future, you're covered. You like to do gaming, you have DirectX 12. You like to use voice commands, you have Cortana. I've not used Cortana, so I have no idea how good it is, but it's something that you have that the previous versions of Windows do not have. Another reward is speed, and Windows 10 should be doing nothing but getting better with age. My main complaint is that even though they promote having over 110 million users using Windows 10, they have not released a significant hard, or hardware or software patch on Windows 10. They haven't come out with a 10.1, a Windows 10 Service Pack 1, or however they're going to do their naming convention. They just haven't released it. Um, it might be in the works, I really don't know, but that's going to be something that's going to push it to making it a better operating system. And that's one of the rewards that you get by upgrading, is that you will get that continued sustainability and performance gain as the operating system ages. So what is my verdict on Windows 10? No. Do not do it. Wait until it's more fleshed out, even before you consider getting something with Windows 10. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it on a new machine. I wouldn't recommend it on your old machine. But if you have an interest in getting the license key, go ahead and let me know, because I can make that video where I show you how to do the upgrade, get the key, go back to your previous version of Windows, and then teach you how to also do a fresh install of Windows 10 when the time may come, and then we can go from there. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something. I hope it helps you make an educated decision on what you want to do. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer them. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, the Don's got your back.